Right guys, we are on. Um, I'm going to try and slow down a bit because sometimes in sales updates I am very, very quick and I just want to get through them, get through them, get through them, get through them. Um, but yeah, I'll just be nice and slow, nice and relaxed. Got a lot of sales to work through so it's going to be a longer video. If you don't like longer videos, I don't know, pause it halfway through, go and get a cup of tea, do a bit of work or whatever and then come back to it and then it'll only feel like two 15 minute videos rather than one 30 minute video or if you really don't like longer videos just watch as far as you can make it and that's that but anyway i'm not going to ramble anymore i get straight on with it some nice sales in this update um from the last sort of three to four weeks i believe well from you know three to four weeks and then anything sort of recent as well so yeah we will get on with it i will go straight to the start which is this one here um so these I picked up a while, but well not a while back, maybe about four weeks ago, something like that, five weeks ago. Um, a car boot for Fiverr. It was a, you know, classic motorcycle collection. I always seem to pick up these magazine collections. They do okay, the train ones do okay. The, you know, the vintage train ones do okay. Uh, vintage or not even vintage aeroplane ones, things like that, they do okay. When I say okay, I mean only bread and butter items really. Um, I accepted an offer of £22 on these, I don't know why eBay is saying that they sold for 30 quid because I did accept an offer, 22 quid plus postage, paid a fiver, not the greatest amount of profit I agree, you know it is only a sort of bread and butter profit there, but still I wanted to get them out, I didn't want to hang around, didn't want them sat on the shelf forever so, um, because I know these are a bit niche, so I knew that that person that made an offer there might not be another person come along for another few weeks um, who would actually see the listing so and would and would be really interested in it. So I decided, yeah, I'll take the offer. And it, I was probably in a good mood as well. Um, so yeah, I took an offer, 22 plus postage, paid a fiver. Um, next was this Orvis hat. Um, really nice hat, this one. Now, I didn't know it was, a, well, sorry, I didn't know the size correctly. I did put large in the listing. Now, I'll tell you why I was so confident in putting large, because I tried it on, and I am a medium. I am 58 centimetres, I believe. I'm a small to medium, so that's, in, in the hat world, that's 57 to 58 centimetres or thereabouts. Um, this was a little bit too big for me, so I imagine this was a 59, 60 centimetre hat, um, which equates to a large. So, I didn't measure it, I didn't even measure it, probably, probably couldn't be bothered at the time, so I just put large in the listing because I was that confident, I really was, I do know my hat sizes, and I put in the description, please feel free to message me to retain sizes, now a guy sent me an offer, again I took an offer on this one, um, I've been taking quite a few offers recently actually, and I quite like it because I've been getting decent offers, um, but the guy just sent me an offer of 12 quid plus the three pound shipping, so 15 pound all in. Didn't even ask me about measurements or anything. Um, and he's probably received it by now. And touch wood, there's no message come through saying this doesn't fit me or anything and all that sort of stuff. So hopefully I should be safe with that one. Um, but yeah, so 15 quid. I uh, paid at an auction not long ago at all. Um, I paid 25 pound plus commission. For a job lot of hats, quite a lot of hats in there. There was a barber one, there was uh, some nice makers of London makers and stuff like that. Um, mainly men's, trilbies, that kind of uh, stuff. So yeah, um, really, really, really happy with the turnaround time on that one as well. Um, I wasn't expecting these hats to get as much interest or as go as fast as I was thinking. So yeah, I can't complain, really, really happy with that one. Uh, really nice sale now, Barbie Loves McDonald's um, 1982 playset, 79.99 plus postage, bit of a slow seller though this one, maybe I was shooting high, I don't know, um, had a lot of interest but no one ever pulled, well no one until now pulled the trigger, um, but yeah I paid 40 quid plus commission in an auction job lot, I got three of the um, Barbie Mattel sets, that's what I'm trying to say, three of the Barbie Mattel sets, um, I'll get all my money back, plus a little bit of profit in this one, or I should do, and then the other two are just profit whenever they sell. But the other two are, I don't want to call them sticky items, because they're, they're far from sticky items, but 
they just you know there's a lot of interest but no one's pulling the trigger unfortunately um but yeah lovely set that happy uh happy with the sale um buzz wired controllers got these a few weeks back at the car boot sale for four quid saw that they were going around the 16 quid you know 16 18 quid mark so whacked them on fairly average price and they went fairly quick and that's all i can really say about them i mean nothing amazing nothing incredibly special or anything like that and it came with this little buzz bag which is quite nice so yeah i mean really just a bread and butter sale um shelly queen Anne, blue iris uh trio this is a cup a saucer and a side plate uh yeah really really nice this one um i did make an error of judgment for the auction what i bought though i bought a lot if you don't know if you've not seen the whole video i bought a lot of shelly uh, a job lot of Shelley in the auction for 50 or maybe £55 plus commission. I can't remember, one of the two. I think it was 50 though. Uh, £50 plus commission. And I made an error of judgment because I didn't view it beforehand. And with pottery or studio pottery or, uh, you know, or what, what I'm trying to say, or tea services or anything like that, anything breakable, view it. View it, view it, view it. I don't know what I was doing. I was just in a risky mood but um yeah so i mean i'll clear my money and i'll get a tiny amount of profit on the job lot but uh yeah sold for 30 quid plus postage as you can see i had it on an auction um it did go unsold a couple of times though so you know it was one of those i was uh, you know i just relisted relisted because there was some interest there and as i say about two or three times later it did it did actually go so yeah i was still happy with that one um, and when I view, pot you know, when I get into pottery a bit more, I'm definitely going to be um, on it with the viewing and stuff like that. Um, I think there was so some slight wear as well with this one, as you can see in the photo there. But I still managed to attain a good price for it, so can't argue there. Uh, really nice item as well, this one. Um, I'm trying to show a few more antique bits on this sales update as well, uh, just to sort of give you an insight into how that side of my business is going um, even though it is all on the same eBay store but you know what I mean um, this was a pair of pool pottery blue caps quite sought after these are I found them in a charity shop for 4 99 a piece didn't know whether they were worth it or not but it was um, it was in a charity shop um, that I know the manager in and we had a bit of a conversation and she said yeah they might be worth picking up so um, yeah, four ninety nine a piece, so I paid ten quid, um, and we were in really, really good condition. And I got fifty quid plus postage for them. There was one, there was a few that had sold for less. I think there was a couple that had sold for more. I, I think that was about right. Um, it was a while ago since I checked sold listings. They probably hung around for about two months. Um, you know, this sort of pottery things like that, it can be quite slow. But I'm happy with the sale. Uh, £10 into 50 I'll take that all day long. So, yeah, nice one that was. Um, Shakespeare Green Fishing Box. This was in the fishing, box, uh, fishing job lot I picked up a while ago from the auction. I got a really nice, I mean, it was uh, La Chamu, I think it's called. Um, fishing jacket, almost top of the range jacket. Even in used condition, you're looking at sort of 60, 70 quid for that jacket alone. And I've got that on and it has got a bit of interest. I actually showed it to my granddad because I wasn't too sure whether I had uh, done the right thing actually buying it. But yeah, he did say that is a, a really nice jacket. Um, so yeah, hopefully I've done the right thing there and hopefully someone will pull the trigger on the jacket as well. Um, but yeah, I sold this, uh, the fishing box alone with the seat for 30 quid plus postage. And it went really quick. It went like within a week or so, maybe two weeks, but really really happy with that so i can't complain there the only annoying thing is that it was too big for my photo area and you can see all the wall and everything but i'm you know that's first world problems that's just nitpicking really uh right then next one another set of the vintage milk milk bottles have gone i've been selling these steadily um yeah i mean i think i've got about one or two bundles of these left left to go i believe there's 20 in total and i did five bundles of five um, yeah, I mean, I paid, it was either £10 plus commission or £15 plus commission. I think it, yeah, it might have been £15, or was it 20 
No, it was 15. I'm pretty sure it was 15 pound plus commission. It was that long ago now. I can't quite remember. I think it was 15 pound plus commission. But anyway, I've sold about three or four of the bundles now for that same price. So 13 quid a bundle. So I must have made about 50 quid or something off them. And I've still got the actual crate, the blue crate. I got them into list. Don't know what I'm going to be listing that for, but it's probably worth my time to list it. So, yeah, happy with them. Really nice item. I just, I loved picking them up and I can't wait to see them at another auction again. So, yeah, happy with that. Uh, the Muzzy went very, very quickly, actually. Uh, must have been a competitive price I put them on at. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, a few of the DVD, well, quite a few of the DVDs inside were sealed. I picked this up in for £8 plus commission in, in two or three boxes worth of stuff in the auction. So, I'm well in profit. Plus, I've got a load more stuff to go um, out of those two boxes. I've not even dealt with them, to be honest. They're still sat in that room. Um, but, yeah, 34 99 plus postage within, I don't know, a week around a week, I don't know, something like that, it's very quick anyway, uh, the outside of the cases were not in good condition, but the inside, it was great, the discs were in great condition, obviously, as I mentioned, a lot of them were sealed, so yeah, really happy with that one, uh, next, let me just uh, go through these a bit, right, there we go, so, uh, Microsoft F Xbox 360, 67 sports themed games, really annoying this was, I picked up, what I used to do was, I'd have a contact, and I don't really talk to him that much anymore, but I had a contact contact that would sell me video games in bulk, and I mean like 300, 500, that sort of stuff. I think the highest amount I ever got was like six or 700. Um, but basically, he would always say to me, you know, do you want to take these sports games? Do you want to take these sports games? And... I'd be like, mm, I don't know, and I wasn't too keen at first, and then I was like, yeah, I might take some. So, basically, he charged me like 10 or 20p per game, because they were only sports titles. Um, and I had these on, this was just one of them big job lots that I got, and I just wanted to clear them. Um, so, 67 times, let's say 20p, it's going to be about, I don't know, 5 What's that? 20p, 5 in every £1, that's 50 as a tenner. It's going to be about 15 quid cost to me, this. So, I had it on for about 59 99 Now, I've, now I've done well on, on uh, these big job lots before, and I've cleared them at good money. I actually have had a uh, PS3 FIFA bundle that I cleared for like 60 quid or something, so I made fantastic profit on that. But this one just st stuck around, stuck around, stuck around, stuck around. And although I made a bit of profit on it, it really just wasn't worth the space. And, you know, because I had to put all these in a big, big massive box and store them. Um, and I'm glad I just cleared them and got a little bit of profit on them. But I wouldn't be doing that again. I, you know, it's not to say I wouldn't advise other people to do that. If you want to do big job lots of video games, depending on what you paid for it, that's fine. But... You know, it just, yeah, I'm not going to go down that route again. Um, I'm going to be looking for more quality over quantity. Um, and I won't really be selling these big job lots of sports games again. Right, fail of the day. Fail, what? Well, fail of the month. Um, this was really annoying. Right, I list at night, and I've mentioned this before. Every now and then, I get a bit tired. And, and basically, at about 10, well, no, about 11 o'clock, if I'm not asleep, I will literally just conk out. Um, and sometimes when I'm listing stuff, that reflects. And that's what's happened here. Obviously, I was getting tired. I was listing. And this was months ago, because I listed this months ago. And I must have forgot to uh, rotate the photo around on my phone. And clearly, as you can see there, the photo is the wrong way. So that's my, I hold my hands up, that's my fail. I do it every now and then, you guys know I do this every now and then. But the annoying thing is, because I don't check my listings, like, I've got a big, big, quite big inventory now, and I can't just go through all my listings and check all the photos all right and stuff. If I had 200 items, I'd be doing that every week, of course I would, but for a thousand items, I just can't be bothered, so... Yeah, I only noticed this when it sold, and then I got frustrated because it had sold. Um, but obviously someone bought it, Someone that wasn't a problem for someone. Um, but yeah, 39 99 plus postage, paid a tenner for it quite a while back, happy with that, it's a Hugo Boss. Sorry, I didn't even say what it was. 
uh, but you will be able to see it on the screen. It's Hugo Boss orange label uh, men's black casual coat jacket. That's what I put in the title. So yeah, still happy with that. Good profit on it, but it was just a fail, like the photo there. Um, but yeah, that's that. A peanut TY Beanie Baby Buddy. Oh, well, actually, this is a Beanie Buddy. Someone messaged me and said, you've advertised this as a Beanie Baby. It is not a Beanie Baby. It is a Beanie Buddy. So I advertised it as a Beanie Buddy in the future. So yeah, this is the one you want to look out for. It's the Royal Blue Elephant. Price fluctuates on this. Sometimes you can't even, you, you, you struggle to get 20 quid for it. Other times, people will pay 40 quid for it. I've sold this at 40 quid, I've sold it at 20 quid, and now I've sold it at 30 quid. Don't know what I paid for this one individually, but I think the most expensive one I ever picked up was 4 or 5 quid, so I don't think I paid more than a fiver for it. Turned it into 30 quid, I don't think it was a quick seller, I can't remember picking it up anytime soon, so I imagine it sat for a few months, but yeah. That's the one you want to look out for, the Royal Blue Elephant, in, and he or she is called Peanut. So that's that. Um, I decided to list these Doctor Who magazines, the DVD files 1 to 75. Um, it wasn't the full collection. Um, I believe the full collection is about 120 discs. Um, now, someone had uh, on auction 120 odd discs of these, um, and they were used condition. And he had got a bid for 150 I believe. Now mine were all new and sealed. Um, but mine was only 75 up to 75 plus two bonus discs. Um, so yeah, I put them on a 49.99 auction. Hoping they'd go up to maybe 60, 70 or 80. I didn't get that. But I paid 18 quid for them. So it's not terrible. I mean, plus my postage, it's 60 quid turnover all in all. So 18 quid into 60 pound turnover. It's not terrible, I'll take it, but I was just hoping for a bit more. I was going to keep them. This was one item that I was very um, reluctant to sell, but I did decide. It, did take it only took me about a day to decide I was going to sell them, but I was reluctant. I was like, oh, you know, I really do. I, I could keep them. But again, it's like space in this room. Where would I keep them? What's the point in keeping them? It's like, ugh, anyway. Um, but yeah, I, I sold them. Happy with what I got. Um, as I say, I would have liked maybe a, a, t a touch more, but I can't complain I'm happy with what I got, you know? Um, right, next. Bread and butter sale, some purple speed stacks. Um, 9.95 plus postage. Really bread and butter. Nothing, to, nothing great to see there. You probably paid a quid or two. That's that, yeah. <laughs> nothing really there. Now, this item, this item sold to the same lady about a month ago. And she paid by a PayPal e-check or whatever it is. And she said to me, the PayPal, PayPal is informing me that the check will clear in X number of days. And then she contacted me again and said, oh no, actually it's going to be longer. And then she contacted me again and said it's going to be in August sometime. And then the check never cleared or something. I don't know. Um, so then she said... Um, well, you know, I, I, oh no, then she said, this is a story, she said, I, uh, eBay has opened an item case or something against me, I don't know, and I can no longer pay for the item, and the e-check is going to bounce. I wasn't really paying attention to it all, I didn't know what it was all about, I, I mean, I know what a PayPal e-check is and stuff like that, but it got to the stage where I was like, oh my god, I don't know, this is just never going to go through, so I just thought, oh god, I don't even know where to start, but... Then she contacted me and said, could you relist the item or something? Uh, no, could could I get your PayPal email to send you the money directly? That was it. Oh yeah, I had a right palaver. It's all coming back to me now. Um, so then she said, could I get your PayPal email? This is through eBay messages. Could, could I get your PayPal email to send you the payment directly? Because the check is going to bounce or something. Um, and then you send me your item. Well, I said to her, well, unfortunately, I can't give you my PayPal email through the eBay messages because eBay will pick up on that and they will give my, my account um, harm from doing that because it's harmful to my account because eBay will see that as selling outside of eBay and therefore avoiding the fees and then eBay will 
seriously, you know, it can seriously affect my account. So she kind of understood that, but then said she just like replied with exactly the same message or almost. Um, and then she wanted my plate PayPal email. And then she was like, well, how do we do this? How do we sort this out? And then I managed, I was then able to relist the item somehow. I don't think I could relist the item uh, prior to that or else I would have done that so then she could have just bought it again um, and then I relisted the item but I forgot to change it to from an auction to buy it now so then she bid on the auction and then she, she said have I got to now wait seven days till the auction ends then um, I said to her well oh god I, I, you know I've messed up and then I said and then she said to me well, is there any way you can change it, you know, you can end the auction early or whatever. And I didn't know you could do this, but there's an option on eBay where you can actually end the auction early and give give it, give the item to the highest bidder. That's a new option. I tell you, that is a new option. Um, but very interesting, yeah. And uh, I did that, and obviously it ended with the one bid at 19.99 plus postage. She paid this time perfectly fast, really happy. Um, and yeah, that got sent out. I also want to mention, now I've rambled enough about that. Honestly, I, oh, it was such a palaver, that sale. I don't even, I forgot half of it. You know, like when your body's in pain and then like three weeks later, you forget what the pain was like. That's what it's like doing eBay half the time. You get all this palaver and then like three weeks later, you've just forgotten all about it because something else has cropped up. But yeah, it was a, Ugh, it was a bloody annoyance. Um, but yeah, anyway, the other thing I wanted to say about this listing on a more positive note is that photo right there is one of my blooming best photos I've ever done on eBay. I love that photo. Really, really nice colouring. Really, really good. I love that photo. I do. It does annoy me a little bit that there's that line at the back where the two pieces of board meet. But still, you know, I'm not bothered too much about that. But really nice photo i'm really happy with the lighting everything on that photo i love so yeah that's that anyway i'm not going to ramble anymore about that one uh bread and butter item uh just a vintage cassette tape storage holder uh worth picking up these they, they're steady they're steady i'll tell i'll say that they're steady um yeah 11.99 plus postage nothing amazing i think i paid one pound for that one uh, in a charity shop i think it was in my one pound shop actually that one the, the ones you want to look out for are the six draw ones and the double decker ones. They're really good. Uh, right, Texas Instruments Calculator. I said to you guys that I would get £20 no trouble for that. I did get £20 no trouble for that. I paid £2 for it at car boot and it went within about three days. Something like that. So really, really happy with that one. Lovely sale, lovely turnaround, lovely profit. On the subject of calculators, another one went not long after. 9.95 free postage. I believe paid one pound or maybe two pound maximum in a charity shop for this one. The reason I've done, uh, I've shown you those two calculators, is because it is getting to back to school time. So if you have any calculators, things like that, scientific equipment, anything like that, get it listed now because it's probably going to sell. Um, I always buy calculators. They do sell all year round, but obviously this time is the time where they're probably going to sell better. So, yeah, really happy with that one. Bit of a slow seller, but, you know, it's such a small item. I can afford I can afford for it to be a slow seller storage-wise. Um, right, I paid, I believe, £6 or £8 for these three models and three Merlin DVD box sets. I sold the Merlin DVD box sets for £14.99 plus postage or £14.99 free postage. And now I've sold these three Star Trek models for 20 quid plus postage. I believe on the whole video I did say to you I'd get around the 20 pound for them. So quite happy with that. I got around the 20 pound. So yeah, really happy. Well, I got 20 pound bang on actually plus postage. Um, but yeah, so happy with that. Nice little sale. Obviously that covers my investment and a little tiny bit of profit. And then the Merlin were obviously profit or the opposite way around actually. The Merlin covers my investment because they were the first thing to sell. And then these are profit after postage and fees. Now when I say pure profit, I do mean after postage and fees. You've got to get that in your head. I don't mean, you know, if, you, if you're new to reselling and, and you're hearing me say, oh, that's pure profit. I do mean after postage and fees and that, you know, all that sort of palaver. Um, right, final item was this Philips. 
Uh, this was a video player recorder. I tested it. I actually, I think this was the one I was watching. Oh, was this the one I was watching Stuart Little on, or was this the one I was watching Winnie the Pooh on? I don't know, but they were the only two like VHS I had to hand, um, and I watched Winnie the Pooh on one of them, and and. Uh, Stuart Little on the other, and I thought, this is a great job, innit? It's times like that where you think, this is a great job. I just had Stuart Little playing, and then I was messing about with something else on the bed, some other, oh, I was messing about with them mobile phones, I think, um, and I was doing that while I was watching the, the VHS, so that then, you know, I could test it while I was doing something else, so I was doubling up on time. Um, but yeah, we're really happy with that one, nice sale. I believe this was the one I paid £10 for in the charity shop, and I got £45 pretty quickly for. Now, the guy actually queried me, messaged me, and he said, um, this item has said on the Hermes tracking that um, it was signed for by, uh, by the household. And he said, I've not had the item. And uh, I went into my uh, tracking information, I went into my eBay listing, and it said it was a GSP order. So, I said to him, well, are you outside the UK? And he said, and I was expect, I was thinking, oh no, what's going on, gone on here? Have I sent the wrong thing to, have I sent like something else to the GSP centre and then I've sent him something else or something? But I don't know, I, I just was fearful that something had gone wrong. Um, and he uh, came back and he said, yes, I'm from wherever it was. I think it was like France or Belgium or somewhere. Um, and I said, oh, right, well, I know exactly what's happened. Uh, the GSP, and I explained to him about the GSP and what it does and stuff in the message, and I said, um, what's happened is someone, a, mem a staff member at the GSP centre has signed for it, and then obviously that's gone on the Hermes tracking information, and I said, now what will happen is the GSP will then forward your item on to yourself, you should get it uh, very soon, I, I didn't say a date to him because I don't know how soon he'll get it, I don't know what the time frame of GSP is like, but I said you should get your item soon. Um, and then he messaged me back when he got his item, and he said I've received it, it's great, it's in great condition, thank you very much. So it's really nice when you get the messages, and it's nice just to solve that problem as well. Um, well, it wasn't really a problem, it was just a miscommunication really, but yeah. Um, so that was that one, so that's everything guys. Thank you very much for watching, I'm not going to ramble anymore. Um, I'll just go back onto my editing, uh, on my uh, OBS here. Well, I've been going 27 minutes, so thank you very much. If you did like the video, please do give it a like. Uh, and if you like the longer sales updates, you know, with a lot more content in, a lot more sales in, uh, please drop a comment down below, tell me about it. Um, you know, and give me a like so you so I understand that this is the kind of content most people want. Obviously, I'm never going to please everyone, so that's fine. Um, but yeah, or if you want to go back to the shorter sales updates, I can do that. I can do what, you know, I can do a shorter one and then a longer one or whatever. You know, I can, I'll just work with the, the major, what the majority of people say. So yeah, thank you very much, guys. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. So see you soon, guys.